Hey there, I'm Ashley and I'm here to make Wix simple. Today we are going to be talking about the pesky missing element. You have built a page, you've added exactly what you want, and now all of a sudden you cannot find the element that you are positive you put somewhere. I have a lot of clients reach out to me when they're making edits to their own sites and we have a case of the mysterious missing element. I'm gonna show you a really easy way to find those missing elements um, and kind of troubleshoot so that you, the mystery can be solved. So let's hop into our editor on this sample site and I'm going to scroll down to the part where I know I have placed an element and I cannot find it. In this case, I put a container box right here and by some means of the imagination, it is now missing. Um, one, the kind of first course of action that I take when I hop into a client site is I just get a feel for what's going on in this section. Okay, what do we have? What elements do we have happening? And to do that, you can hover over the different parts and your little tooltip select bar will show you what you're working with. So I can see, all right, I have a strip and then on that strip, I have a button, some text, some more text, more text, text, um, and just kind of get a feel for things. When I go over to this side, I can see, wait a minute, I am hovering over elements that I can't actually see. In this case, it looks like a container box, some text, more text, right? Um, best case scenario, with a little bit of hovering, you will locate the items that you are looking for, in which case, all you have to do is a little bit of rearranging. I can tell that I have a container box behind this uh, image, and if I click on part of it, I can see that I now have my container box selected, which means I should be able to just drag it, oh, put it where I want it to be, and leave it there. Now, maybe things are not that simple and you it's just gone. Maybe it's who knows where it has gone. Let's pop open our layers panel. If we go to the menu on the top here and click the wrench with the tools next to it, that's gonna give us all of our different kind of menus, toolbar things. This second option, your layers panel, go ahead and turn that on. Right away, I can see I'm getting a little error message here. Um, when I hover over it, it is saying this element is outside the grid lines, um, or in this case, something else is going on that's going wrong. If you see a little kind of error message next to one of your elements, that might be the element to investigate. If not, that's okay. Um, what you'll notice is that uh, every element is showing up, every element on this page will show up on the layers panel. So no matter where it has gone, it will show here. And it might take a little bit of digging to figure out what element it is. Sometimes you have the benefit of being able to see what the element is. If it's an image that's gone missing, I can see a tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny thumbnail of it. Or in this case, there's a group of text and I can actually read what the text says. So those little clues can be very helpful. Um, in this case, it was text on a container box. Um, I could toggle this arrow and see what's on the container box. Um, but you should be able to, with just a little bit of digging around in this layers panel, be able to locate that missing element. And when you do locate the missing element um, and have it selected, You'll, it will also take you to where it is hiding on your site. So for instance, if I select this strip, you're gonna notice it's pulling me somewhere else on the page to show me this is where that strip is. Um, so if that happens and what you are looking for is not visible, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Let's go back up here. Let's find the strip with our missing container box and I'm gonna click on this. And when I do that, it's brought me back to where this little container box is hiding, but I can't see it with my eyes. So how do we fix that? Well, you can click onto it and drag and drop it and kind of play around with its placement kind of in that hierarchy of layers and see if you can pull it to the front. Um, in which case I might drag it to the bottom of the image here in this layers menu and voila, there it is. Once it's visible, you can then put it back where it belongs and give it a little stern talking to if needed. 
Um, or just like before, let me move that back to where we had it. Um, if you have it selected, this blue frame that is around our item means that that is the element that I have selected. So I should be able to just click and drag from there too. So I, I'm just hovering over. I can see the word container box on this little frame. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag and it's going to move it for me. So I can't tell you the number of times that this has happened. There are other ways that elements can get lost on pages, but between kind of the hover method and this layers uh, panel, you should be able to find what you are looking for. I love solving a good mystery. So if you cannot, you can always reach out to me and hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.